This is what the fusion of architecture and Minecraft looks like. Not only can you create stunning builds, but they will be packed with functionality. So hop in as my wife and I take you along this journey of creating a unique build for every single biome in Minecraft. I'm Nick. And I'm Sid. And this is By the Biome. Hey, it's not gross in here. Come on in. You got him. Now you might be thinking how architecture can really help when it comes to building in Minecraft. Looking at real world architecture, there are numerous different approaches to make when constructing a home or building, but they all share a common theme, and that is the focus on planning. And once you are done planning, you do some more planning to make sure that the plan is a good plan. And then you make a plan to check on the plans, and then plan the location, plan the building materials, plan, 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 plan. plan. So, so I think we can all understand what we can learn. So with that in mind, Sid and I started by drafting up some plants. Now it may not be the prettiest drawing, but it gets the job done. As you can see, we have a beautiful butterfly style roof with clean, sleek lines and an asymmetrical facade that really brings an element of uniqueness and style to the build. You'll also notice that we have plans for where we want the sun to set on this build, which we will touch on some more later when we plan for the location. And for those with a keen eye for design, you can see this is a mid-century modern style design, which literally originated in the 1950s. So let's wind the clocks back to see what life was like back then. Hello there. I'm here to show you a wonderful place. A home meant for the nuclear age, straight out of the mid-century with the most modern architectural finishes you could imagine. A perfect home to raise a family and relax after a long day of work. <laughs> Alright, I hope you enjoyed that. Now let's turn and burn on to the next biome. Given our last build was in the desert, we didn't have to fly very far to find the Badlands, but we don't just want any spot in the Badlands. We have some very specific requirements, and these will apply for all Minecraft builds, so pay attention. The first consideration is lighting, and we need the house to be south facing, as we want to maximize the natural sunlight coming through the windows. And second is elevation, as we want this build to be up on a hillside to maximize the view of the landscape. And that brings us to this perfect spot, that's elevated up on this hillside, overlooking a beautiful body of water with clean sight lines looking north and south. Perfect. And as the saying goes when finding a home, location, location, location. And in the By the Biome series, location is everything. For those of you new to the series, we are setting out to create a new build for every single biome in Minecraft. And this world is not complete until we have a unique build for every single one. With this being our third biome, we are just getting started. So be sure to subscribe to follow along this incredible journey. Now before we begin the construction phase, we have some key preparations that we need to make. <laughs> a terrible fortress. I'm scared. Yes, I got a skull. Oh, nice. I'll let you kill those. Hey, good luck. Yes. Got him. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'll give it to you. Ooh. La, 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 la. <laughs> All right, let's head back. Let's get out of here. Mm. Bringing home, Bringing the, home beacon. the beacon <laughs> and beaconator. Hey, you know what that is. Hey. 
<laughs> now it's finally time to dig out the spot for our brand new home. But seeing as watching us dig is about as exciting as watching paint dry, let's cut to the construction phase and we can talk more about the design. This is a mid-century modern design. And for those of you who played Fallout or watched the new Fallout show, it follows that same vibe. Now mid-century modern design was born out of the post-war era and was meant to be simple, sleek, and elegant but also to be able to be mass produced to house the many nuclear families after the war. Although the concepts of the design are simple, making aesthetic Minecraft builds with these principles requires some careful thought. For the facade or front of the house, we use quartz as it provides a great contrast to the Badlands environment, then floor to ceiling windows of black glass trimmed with blackstone so we can really enjoy the surrounding view of the home and also provide some sleek looking windows. And of course, the biggest feature is the large butterfly style roof with progressively larger overhangs the further out it goes. You may also have noticed that this house is actually quite large and that is because this is going to be our new home base, which is going to have to accommodate a few key elements on on the inside, which Sydney has done a great job of planning out in this sketch. As you can see, we're going to have a huge storage room and then an enchanting area is the main functional areas. But we also need this base to be more than a house. We need it to be a home and adding all the typical rooms that you would find in a mid-century modern home is going to accomplish that. Now with the basic exterior taking shape, we still have a ton of digging ahead of us. And even with this beacon, we spent another four hours digging out all the interior space. But I'm glad to say it's finally time to start building the first room of our new base. Oh, there's a zombie coming for you. Oh! Look yeah, out! Look out! I'm coming to save you. <laughs> Hitting him with my pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next area I'm doing is going to be the farming section. Yeah. Then, like, carrots... Okay, so that's storage room one and two done. Now, you might have noticed Sid has been busy working away on some other parts of the house. So we're gonna cut over to see what she's up to.
All right, I must admit, Sydney is the queen of detailing and taking care of all the fine details. Now let's jump back over to me and I have some cool rooms coming up, so you're gonna wanna pay attention. Want to see the stone storage area? Sure. I made it a cave. Mmm. Oh, I like it. Need to do an experiment first. Dang it. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty high. You want to see the hidden redstone? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of, it's a little janky because I'm not the best at redstone, but it's kind of fun. What do you do? Ready? Can I go? <laughs> you try it now. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> you have to make sure, <laughs> when you drop down, you have to make sure to like walk to the middle of the room. Yeah. Wowee. Ready? And then you just go like this. You have to press a button? You have to walk on that pressure plate. Lit. <laughs> That's kind of cool, eh? Yeah, I like that. Good job. A little different. All right, after that fun little redstone storage room, it's time for the final two themed storage rooms of the house. But before that, I need to venture to one of Minecraft's most loved and up-to-date biomes in the game. That's right, the end.
Oh, Architectural Digest. I didn't know you were stopping by. I guess you can come see our wonderful mid-century modern architecture house full of the coolest rooms and decorations you've ever seen in your life. Come on in. So Sydney's probably done an extra 20 hours worth of decorating since we finished all the rooms just to tie everything together and really bring life to this place. All right, as we enter the house, we have this first room. What do you like to call this area? I think I'd call this maybe our music lounge, a okay. cool listening room. Okay. Yeah. I like the floor you have here in the designs. Very cool. And this, this hanging you. light features something else. Mm, thanks. Yeah, with such tall ceilings, you have to sort of bring things back down to scale a bit. Sunken living room. Classic mid-century modern design. Very cool. Nice little lounging chair, the couch, the modern coffee table. All right, come check out the kitchen. Stepping into the kitchen, what do we got here? So, do you know why we have a kitchen? I don't know why, why we have a kitchen. Well, I'll tell you why we have a kitchen. Personally, when I see some of these other people's bases and it's just like, it's so function over form, like it doesn't inspire me at all. And to be honest with you, mid-century modern is all about form with function. Let's go over to the bedroom area. Where the magic happens? <laughs> you could say that. Yeah, like you think of like the typical Minecraft base, there's no extra rooms. There's no bedroom, there's no kitchen, there's just literally a storage room, and that's it. And we didn't want that. We wanted this place to actually feel like a home. So we added all these extra rooms, like a bedroom that doesn't even actually have a Minecraft bed, but it looks like a real bedroom. So it brings a lot of life and character to the build. You know what this might be is like the epitome of boy plus girl do Minecraft together. You know, <laughs> like it's so classic for the guys to have all of these like specified areas for their function. It might not look pretty, but it's efficient. Yep. Like districts and like <laughs> factions and like classic girl Minecraft haha <laughs> to be like I think there needs to be a flower here and a little lamp here. But <laughs> like, flowers. look what it does to a space. You tell me, do you feel comfortable in it? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Makes it look really cool. It's it's 100% not your typical Minecraft house, which is what we were going for. Let's zip over to the bedroom. But maybe first you want to touch on this crazy lava wall you got here. Yeah, this huge lava lo wall was totally inspired by the Incredibles. Very cool. That hidden layer they have in that volcano. It's so mysterious, so dangerous. And what do we got over here? This funky looking little room. Yeah, so it's a walk-in closet. Perfect. I like what you did with the rugs here. That's a good idea. The dead coral. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we actually just have our extra armor sitting around here. May as well put some of it on display, I guess. Yeah, like what else are you going to do? Like shove it in a chest and throw an item frame on it? Or again, marry the form and the function and create you know, something that you would actually have in your own home, a place to store your armor, your weapons. Exactly. <laughs> well, I think this goes with the lava wall and you can't have an evil lair without a fish tank, obviously. Yeah. And there's actually a lot of cool fish in here. I like it. And then we got the bathroom. Hey, it's not gross in here. Come on in, check it out. Functional toilet. It smells nice in here, doesn't it? <laughs> And in classic mid-century modern architecture, they do like to marry the two together, indoor and outdoor. I like the mirrors as well. The mirrors are very cool. Okay. You like the sunlights? Love the skylights, that's so cool. We let so much natural light in here. Yeah, it was super dark in here. Like how else could we lighten the place up, honestly? It was really tough. But then I, I kind of like the way it looks too, because you can see the layers of the mesa. Yeah, very cool skylights. And I love the cactus mesa garden here. Mm hmm And then we have the entire functional area of the house with all the custom decorative storage rooms. And everything mm -hmm. that is in these storage rooms fits the theme of the storage room. So in the end storage room, we have all the end stuff. In the nether storage room, we have all the nether stuff, like nether wart, magma blocks, nether brick, you name it. We have the cave storage room which has basically everything that you find underground, the farming storage room, and then the wood storage room. Mm -hmm. And then I think one of the coolest features is the rainbow storage up top. 
with all the cool terracotta colors that we have up there to represent all the different yep and all the concrete and the wool and the dyes all the colored items are up there yep everything do you think that's the coolest or secret redstone room <laughs> <laughs> our evil lair you honestly will not find me down here <laughs> <laughs> Then finally, we have the garage. And for those who are interested, you can check out the Patreon linked in the description below if you want to download this build or any builds that you've seen, as well as a bunch of other world downloads that we have. So be sure to check that out. And we have a bunch of other information in the description that you should check out. And that brings us to the end of By the Biome Episode 3. Thanks everyone for watching. See you later.